These riots were decades in the making, made off the back of tabloid newspapers stoking up anti-Muslim hatred and demonizing LGBT communities. Politicians who have targeted refugees and migrants in the maintenance of their own political power. A Tory government that has chipped away at the social fabric of our society through their cuts their austerity, their decimation of our communities, leaving pools of bitterness that have allowed racism to fester. The demonstration of the 26, 20, 30,000 people said that they're going to support them. We have to make sure that we have the biggest level of opposition against them. Combating the far right is a trade union issue because trade unions are built around social justice, campaigning for justice for all people, but particularly people that are oppressed and combating and challenging injustices wherever we see it. And therefore it is absolutely essential that we get involved in this. It is only our movement, our movement that can turn the tide against the far right in Britain. Because this movement stands in the history of Cable Street. I lead a union that stands in the history of our member Blair Peach, a teacher killed by the police whilst confronting the National Front. We're encouraging districts to put on coaches uh, who aren't in London so that we have a huge mobilisation. In our branch we'll set ourselves a target of 200 members, we'd like to get more. Organised collectively as we have done over pay. It looks like looking at the biggest schools with the biggest membership and hitting them first. It looks like getting to your strongest reps and walking the school, walking the corridor doors going in and out of people's classrooms saying are you coming we have to show them that we're bigger that we're stronger and that we're not going away and that we will not allow them on our streets spouting rhetoric of hate this fight is real this fight is now and this fight must be won <laughs>